Wow, his and her show. We are back. We are back. Yours truly, Diamond K, Miss Sweet T. I am the his. And I am the her. How you doing? I'm blessed and highly favorite. Okay. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. Um, yeah. I'm glad to be back. And uh, a whole lot, whole lot of stuff to talk about. And um, so... Uh, is 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 COVID even a thing still in in uh in, in Texas? I never knew it was a thing. You know, <laughs> it never was a thing. <laughs> um, yeah, so you know, regulations are going down by the minute. So uh, I don't know, people are people still wearing masks? No, Diamond, we stopped yeah. doing that a long time ago. Masks are old school. Okay, I got you. Yeah. I mean, some right. people still wear them, but they get do looked you, at. Like, do you wear the, Do you wear masks? No, mask? I don't want to be. People look at you like you crazy. People look at you like you crazy if you wear a mask. Yeah. Okay, so when you when, like in the supermarket, people are not wearing a mask. No, not no. Uh, uh-uh. don't nobody wear no mask here in Texas. I mean, as I said, it's a few people that will put a mask on, but. And people be looking at them like, "What's why I got a mask on?" Mm, mm, mm. Okay. The gloves kill me though. The go- yeah, the gloves is a bit, <laughs> the gloves is a bit much. Little fucking dirty ass gloves. Yeah, the gloves, the gloves is a bit man. much. Yeah, gloves I just be much. like, really, the gloves, and then they got plastic bag bags over the gloves. I just be like, y'all, you taking it too far. You're All right, so I, I think. Speaking of um, taking it too far, Kanye West, <laughs> Kanye West is uh, is uh, uh, out of control. Kanye West is out of control. Um, Why is he out of control? Well, I mean, okay. First of all, Kanye Kanye thinks that he's special, and I understand that Donda told him that he was special, right? And everybody's mother, father, grandmother, grandfather, somebody in your family at a young age tells you that you are special. And then you you ever see on divorce court where some women that's getting a divorce, they got like a tiara on their head, like like a like a princess or something, because their father told them they was a princess and this adult is is standing in court wearing a tiara, right? Kanye West is the male version of that, right? He thinks he's special. Only thing that's happened to Kanye West it, right at this moment is he is having issues with his baby mother, with a V, and his ex has his moved on. Wife. I thought that she was legally single. They're not divorced. Okay. So he's right. having cussy issues with his wife. Okay, okay, that's fine. He's having cussy issues with his wife. Now, Kanye is screwing other people. He's he he's having auditions for Kim Kardashian lookalikes. He only parading around with girls that look like Kim Kardashian. So he can't. He's trying. He's trying to play this 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 twenty seven year old comedian is banging my wife. Right. That I, I hear you. Except for you're banging people too. Right, so you can only you can't even say but so much because it's not like he's sitting home and and not doing anything. But right? don't, but Diamond, when you say he's having Kim Kardashian lookalikes, 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 men do everybody do it. Everybody do it. I've dated men. I don't have Kim Kardashian look like contest. I've, da- I've dated plenty of men, and after we done left each other, they try to get replacements that look like me or t- similar to me. Yes, but there's a reason and, yeah, it's for a reason. that. Because yeah. they're attracted to a certain type, right? I, I get you. I get you. Okay, but no. my point... What? What you mean? No, no, why? No, no what? what are you say no to? It is, it's to a certain type. It has nothing to do with a certain type. It has nothing to do with a certain type. What are you talking about? Why does it die? That woman has such an emotional hold on you 
that you're trying to actually replace her with somebody else thinking that you can put whatever you put into with that person into this person this new person that resembles the person of your past so you're saying and that Kim he's not does. attracted to girls that look like Kim Kardashian he is trying to channel he's trying something to, he's trying to re yes he's gonna date people that look like him because he wants to be with Kim so bad so he's gonna get other people to resemble Kim so he can feel like he's still with her you understand what I'm saying which we call it did it too that was with Kim uh what's his name Reggie what was Reggie his name Bush Reggie he did Bush the same he married a woman that looked just like him. That's when you know you got so good. Let's see. Okay. Now, I don't doubt. I don't doubt that Kim Kardashian is talented. I have seen her on the tape. She, she, she. I'm sure that it's nice. I'm sure it's fun. But my thing is, is that Kanye is acting like he is some kind of way different than any other guy. Um, he's who is going, gay. yeah, well, whatever. I mean, and that's fine, but a, a whole lot. I mean, everybody, just about everybody, uh, guys, most guys have gone through some type of disagreement with the mother of their children wife. at some point in time or wife, right? And there's been breakups and all that. What makes Kanye so different, like so special? He ain't. It's the same. Like a whole a whole lot of people have their ex, their estranged person move on because she's getting a divorce. Right? When? When's she getting it? It's coming. It's when? coming. She's she don't want to be with him. Are you she do you think leaving. she wants to be with him? Not, she's not leaving him. When you say not leaving him, she not. she's screwing somebody else. What okay, else? What, what I believe she so got to do. Is he, and that's what people do sometimes when they separate in their marriage. They'll go and seek something else, thinking that maybe the green, the grass is greener on the other side. You know, maybe we just need a break. You know, but my thing is, if Kim wanted to divorce Kanye, she would have been turned them papers in. It's not that hard to go and file for divorce. She's Hollywood. She can pay for it. Like, come on. What is holding her up? She don't really want to go. Okay. Okay. So, I am many credits short of being an attorney and being able to take the bar, but I'm going to give you some legal advice here. What? A divorce in California is she can not is not a quick process. But she she hasn't even started the process. What do you mean she ain't start the process? She has not even started the process. This guy, this little Pete Davidson guy, she running around with. He's a pawn. He's a pawn. What is she using him for aside Just from? Pawn. What? What is? What are you doing? Sprinkle me? A, a puppet? Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't. What is, what is you trying to say that she's using him to get get back at Kanye? No, she's just she's just doing her thing. Trust that's, me, I've been in her shoes. Trust that's me. What, that, that's what that's what people do, right? She's moved on. She um, hasn't moved on. She's just playing playing around. Mm -hmm. yeah. and that's, the, that's the that's the thing that people don't realize when when you when you mess with people that's still married and they haven't even moved their feet to even sign no papers they're not going to do it right away and 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 you take that risk of messing with them like majority of the time they just playing with you yeah well from from pete's standpoint if if somebody playing with me is whatever Kim is doing, I, he, I'm sure he's not mad. He's having fun. She's having fun. And, and she's maybe they don't fun. make it. Maybe they don't make it. <laughs> she's, it not, she's not selling it down with Pete Davidson. Come on. How do we know? She, she settled down with Kanye? Who? How do we know who she's going to settle down with? Kanye, yes. First of all, she okay. doesn't even like white men. She married one. How long did it last? Not long. 
Thank you. Not long. Because she said she didn't even want to be with him for real. And the day that she married him, she wanted to just say no. But she paid all this money and <laughs> all on the TV. <laughs> It was okay. too late. Okay. It was too late. Okay. Uh, and, and that may be true. That, that isn't Kim true. a lawyer now? Um, she's close to it. She's close not one yet. She's so close if to she it. really yeah. wanted to go and get a divorce, Kim Kardashian can go and get a divorce. Yeah, and I, I do think that she's going. That that's where where she's going to end up at. They're just not there yet. Um, and because Kanye has money. Because uh, he has fame, he thinks that he can bully. Because that's what he's doing. He's trying to bully her and 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 uh, uh, and Pete. Pete is a comedian. Okay. <laughs> he ain't finding this shit funny. Yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> and um, Kanye is acting like he's being denied access to to his children. Although we saw him with the girl with North. Uh, at the Super Bowl, we see we like we see him, right? We see him in video, but you know what I mean. And so Kim says that he's there to take the kids to school, or just saw the kids, you know what I mean. And um, uh, he's talking about he could, they couldn't come to Sunday service or this or that, or you know, um, I don't know. They do not have a child custody agreement, um, and uh, she said that Kanye has not asked for one. And because of that, uh, West has reportedly been able to see his children whenever he wants to with the full cooperation of their mother. Now, um, so so the, the rapper and the comedian are going back and forth. And Kanye is putting all his business out on Front Street and then gets in his feelings when people comment on it. I don't understand that. Why not? He's human. Yeah, but he's acting like, oh, don't be talking about my stuff. Like, you're putting everything out there. As soon as you get off the phone with Kim, he's jumping on, on Instagram and talking about it. He's posting text messages. He's 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 doing all these things, and then people talk about it. D.L. Hewley said some things about it. Charlemagne said some things about it. And a whole host of other people said some things about it. Kanye only talks about the comedians that say stuff. He, he, he's talking about he's going to pull up on um, D.L. Hewley. And, and put D.L. Hewley's address out on social media. Um, now, this is supposed to be, quote, unquote, a man of God. He's supposed to be doing Sunday service. He's supposed to be mad because uh, his daughter is on Sunday. TikTok. A church is just a good tax write-off, but go ahead. Yeah, when well, you write about that. It, 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 he's fake. You're absolutely right. Um, but <laughs> he is saying that he doesn't want his daughter on TikTok, right? Mm -hmm. A negative in energy and they're using the, the children. He putting all this negative energy out in the world. Right? <laughs> he putting a whole lot of negative energy out in the world. He uh -huh. is threatening a man. Did you see his latest music video? Uh-huh. Uh, he kills Pete and buries him and all that kind of stuff. Uh-huh. Did is, you find that funny? I don't think he did find it funny. <laughs> do, you, do you think that this is good energy? His kids are going to see this later. Kanye looks crazy. He is, though. Yes, and Kim regrets even giving this dude the time of day. What people don't realize is Kanye is certified. Kanye mm -hmm. doesn't take any medicine. Yeah. Okay? He doesn't take any medicine. So and we don't know who or what he's thinking at the time that he's doing it because he's not, he's going off of emotions. <laughs> He's going off of emotions. He has a chemical imbalances in his his head, which means that whatever he's feeling at that time, that's what he's going to do. And he has bipolar, so it's no fucks given yes. at the time. Now, and, and, and that's true. And that's true. His highs are really high and his lows are really low. Right. And right now, he's at a high that he just he doesn't care. He doesn't care. Now, let, let's stay right there for a minute. Now, when he's at the when he's at the point where he is right now, right? He's going to fall, bloody, and it's going to be bad. It is. I, I agree. Now, Kim, as as the mother, she has the responsibility to protect the children. So there could be some times where Kanye wants to go 
see the kids, do something with the kids, take the kids, or whatever. And he's at a at a, at a point that's not stable, right? So she may not want him to do that. And she and she knows and she knows. And she knows when she's been with him long enough to know. And and, and she's like maneuvered through this landfill, long this minefield long enough, and she just had enough. But she's she's he ain't just get like this. He's been like this their whole relationship, and she yeah. stayed for a good amount of time, so she knows. Is she wrong for may maybe preventing him from taking the kid on this day because he might have been on 10? No, absolutely not. I, we agree. We agree with that. We agree with that. But what happens is that when that happens, then he gets on social media and starts talking crazy. Yes, because that's how his mind is going at that time. And his thoughts are always racing. And that's when I tell people in the closet, behind that, sorry, Diamond, seven, he going to the movies, he need cologne. <laughs> wow. Behind that is so good. That, the is, closet, that is so good. That is so good. Uh, you just tuned in as the His and Her show. Uh, Diamond K, Sweet T in here on FireTelevision.com. We are talking about Kanye West and uh, all of his uh, shenanigans. So, like, as I was saying, mm-hmm. it's so many different ones, Seven. It is. Um, uh, so Kanye, he, he has his, his, his certain his certain thoughts, right? Uh, and, and there was this text message uh, back and forth that uh, Kanye had with Pete Davidson. So they they exchange they exchange words, and during the exchange, okay, so Pete Davidson said claims that he was in bed with Kim Kardashian as he was texting Kanye, and during their back and forth, uh, Davidson says that Kim is literally the best mother I've ever met. Um, what she does for those kids is amazing, and you are so effing lucky that she's your kid's mom. Yeah, she, I mean, he's he baiting a man. He's uh, <laughs> he's he's baiting a man. What what are your thoughts on that? <laughs> <laughs> right, Kim is. Everybody know that Kim's a good mom. That it's no question about it. Kim is a good mom, but Pete Davidson, she'll never be your baby mama. So that being said, like you're adding fuel to the fire. So whatever Kanye says is what it says. It's all games and words. It's all games and words. But what I do know that words to a crazy person can be very dangerous after they keep on seeing the words over and over and over. Yeah, well, um, you know, Kanye and, has has, and and Kim knows that Kim has been with Kanye for a long time, and as you said, that she's been going through his mental health, his mental health, for all these. So she knows the triggers. My husband knows my triggers. My husband knows when I don't feel well. My husband knows when you need to sit down and take your medicine. You need to. So she knows. She knows, and I think she does an excellent job. Yeah, I think she does it. Even with being going on uh, social media, she handles the situation very well. She doesn't blast him in public. She doesn't um, at all, and that is commendable. Uh, a because lot... she knows. That yeah, she she, she knows make, that that would make it go even further. Yeah, it'll yeah. send him over the edge. Yeah, and um, you know so. He has, uh, Kanye has uh, lawyered up, preparing for this custody battle. So uh, Samantha Spector is an attorney for Kanye West, and she's supposed to be making this custody uh, battle a priority. Kanye is um, not going to get full custody of his kids. Oh, <laughs> there is no way. <laughs> No way. And I am a that. full supporter of Kanye. Kanye, you pushing it. You reaching yeah. it. There's no yeah. way you're going to get full custody of those kids. Let them stay with their mama. They need to be with their mother, but they do need to see their father as well. Yeah, but you know, Kanye is not even living in a balanced household right now. I mean, no. the kids he's know. He's all over the place. Yeah, he's all over the place. 
you got different women every week. You know, it's too much. It's too much. Yeah. Um, now, Kim has made space and, and and allowed him to spend time with the children as much as possible. Uh, he did pick the kids up for school yesterday. I okay. Wonder, I wonder if he had that mask on. He, and he probably did. And that's, that stuff looks crazy. It looks crazy. But uh, Kanye's attorney is attempting to establish a formal situation. And and that's fine. Now, the problem is going to be whatever, if, if they establish a schedule, mm-hmm. then he's going to change it. Something's going to happen. He's going to want to do it at some other time. And then she's not going to go with the schedule. And he's going to get mad. And he's going to go on social media. And he's the one <laughs> that wanted the schedule. Kanye likes going on social media because we give him the attention that he seeks to yeah. make him feel like how his mama told him that he was special. <laughs> That's what he does. That's did you does. did you watch the uh, uh, the Netflix? I haven't watched it yet. Okay. I haven't watched it yet. I try not to be on TV a lot. Yeah. Oh, right, right, right. We uh, we had this conversation. What? Uh, so you have an issue with TV? What is your issue with TV? I just think that it's better things for the mind to do than to sit there and watch TV. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, um, I like TV. Now I don't, you know, watch it as much as I used to, but. Uh, you know, now uh, we talked about this when it first happened, <laughs> and um, uh, I, I guess the I guess we could say it's a conclusion that's <laughs> happened, uh, or at least for another uh, 144 days, uh, until Jesse gets out of jail. Uh, so Jesse, oh! Jesse Smollett. Now, we talked about Jesse when he first started uh, uh, this bullshit lies. Yes, yes. These lies. And Jesse, do you think he got what he deserved? Should Jesse actually be in jail? Did he get the, a bad rap? Like, what do you now that he's been sentenced? What, what do you think? I think once he's been sentenced, he needs to spend his time in custody. Hmm. And and he has to learn what he, he needs a lesson. His ass need a lesson. Point blank period. You just don't do that. So yes, he needs to serve his time. No special treatment. He needs to serve regular time. Well, so you you don't think he needs to be in protective custody? Who's Jesse? Well, uh, Jesse, uh, he had this outburst when he was uh, Ain't nobody sentenced. Nobody even fucking know who he is. <laughs> he was yeah. like, "I am not suicidal. If something happens to me, I did not do it." You know, like who is Jesse? Don't no, nobody even remember him anymore. Right? Yeah, yeah. When you uh, bring him up, I still gotta put. I'm like Jesse Smollett. Oh, mm-hmm. the dude yeah. from um that show. Yeah. What was the show called? Empire. Empire. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah like I don't need to be in no special custody. Yeah. Um yeah, so people have been coming at me on uh on social media and they're upset about some of the things I said about Jesse Smollett and um Would you, you know, say don't drop the soap? I didn't say don't drop the soap. No, I, I, I somebody put that on. <laughs> I, I I personally think that he will continuously drop the soap because he likes men. <laughs> he's really he's really gonna be happy he's in jail. You know what I mean? This is like uh, go down like that that easy. Down well, I, I can imagine, I can imagine, but it's just like if, if RuPaul goes to jail, you know what I mean? It's just like okay, RuPaul goes like, uh, you want to punish RuPaul? Put RuPaul in a woman's jail, right? <laughs> You wanna you wanna really punish Jesse, put him in a woman's jail, then he's gonna be punished. <laughs> you know what? Oh man, here's a her show, uh All Fire Television, uh Dobby K Sweet Tea. So 150 days for staging a homophobic race-based right. 
hoax or attack. You know what I mean? And, and, and Jamus was like, he was like, we need the, uh, it's, it's too many people that's out here causing real crime. And Jesse would just be taking up space when it could be used for real Who's criminals. Jammers, and oh. that's when I was like, Yeah, that's true. You know, prisons and jails are becoming overpopulated, but he needs to learn a lesson. You just don't do that. He made everybody, he made his people look bad, his community look bad. Do yeah, oh, definitely, definitely. He made the, the uh, alphabet folks look bad. He made uh, he's Black mixed, people he made, look bad. Black people, white people, he made everybody look bad. Like, he made everybody look bad because um, I don't know. It's just so here's the other thing. Anytime he says something, people gonna take it with a grain of salt, not gonna believe him. So like boy, go sit down. Right. He claims that he <laughs> received a letter. He claims that he received a letter uh, ahead of the attack with a warning that says you will die black MF on a piece of paper with a stick figure. And a noose with a, a noose around the neck. So he, he, <laughs> damn it. this is what I don't get. This is what I don't get with Jesse. Yeah. Like out of all the people in the world, why all of a sudden these people hate you? They yeah, like there's so many. Okay, if if there's uh so many like if they are targeting Jesse Smollett, then what what kind of mail does President Obama get? <laughs> right. <laughs> One show that you was known for. That's it. Empire. And he wasn't the star. He wasn't a star. Anyway, he's a star. He's not a star. Did you know him before this? I mean, his family Hell is no. his I family mean, is pretty well known, but his sister was an actress. Yeah. Her friend go for Eva. It stopped at the age of 10. Okay. Like, Jesse, like, who are you? A lot of people didn't even know how to say his name until he Jesse did this. Thing, right? They didn't know. <laughs> they was Smiley? calling him. Ju- they was calling him Juicy. Juicy. They was calling him. They was call- all kind of stuff. He uh, was just looking for. I, I guess he was just looking for. Maybe he thought he was going to be a bigger star than what he was. Well, if he was. He really, um, he, he really put career. that in jeopardy. He really yeah, put he that thought, in jeopardy. He his career was probably going to be higher than what it was, so he needed some flame to add to the fire. And he really bent over and dropped the soap on that one, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> now nobody fucks with him. He gonna go into jail. They gonna be like, mm, this nigga. Yeah. Uh, uh, and, and trust me, when he get in prison, he probably gonna go on suicidal watch. Gonna have all these uh things talking about people trying to get him. He oh he gonna be a nuisance. I oh I feel sorry for the person. He gonna he gonna get on their nerves. He gonna um, get on their nerves. Yeah. Well, so he's trying to get out of jail early. He's he's acting like he's a political prisoner, all, all this kind of stuff. Like he's a doing, political... <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it's uh, it's kind of funny, really, when you think about and it. Y'all talk about Kanye. I mean, what you mean, Kanye? Y'all talk I mean... About Kanye, we got Jesse Smollett running around just making shit up, like. Like he is important. Well, I I think he's delusional. I think that there is there's something mentally wrong with Jesse Smollett, though. I I, I do think that, I, and I don't know what it is exactly, but there is something wrong with him. Like <laughs> you you remember that Batman? What's like the the half the face is one way and the half the face the other way. Jesse's oh, like that two face, right? Yeah, it's just like. He got one side that's like normal, and then this other side that is just straight delusional. I just think he's a brat. Yeah, that too. Uh, and so um, Taraji P. Henson uh, is, you know, posting the hashtag free Jussie, and uh, she says, <laughs> "I'm not here. I'm not here to debate you on his innocence, but we can agree that the punishment does not fit the crime." And uh, what? Yeah, so she 
She then okay. Well, she this, got mental illness too, so she might not she be does. either. And she does. She definitely need to take some medicine about them hair prices that, for her stuff. Like, come on, Taraji, we supposed to be we supposed to be brothers. No, <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> what movie was that? Oh, uh, uh, that medicine society. <laughs> hey, Taraji, hair prices for black magic. Melon girls, it's too high. It's too so high. What, so okay, I don't. So Taraji has a a hairline. She has a hairline for natural hair for black women, and okay. it's too getting high. It's so what are you? High. What are you basing? Like, what are you basing the uh too high off of? Like, it's too high for the average black woman. That's a single mom out here trying to make it, trying to, you know, have great hair and all that and not trying to wear wigs and weaves and all that bullshit. Her products are too high. $22. Like, come on, for a little bitty bottle. Like, come okay, on. Okay, this Don't is a great, that. this is a great segue. But I want to, um, before we, before we segue, you, you, this wasn't on the docket to talk about, but you just brought up something, something that I think. Is 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 good to uh to go to. So I, first, let's look at her price. Okay, so let's 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 go to her site. All right, all right. So I'm on I'm on the site. This is uh, tphbytaraji.com. All right. So this is um. All right. Okay. All right. So this these are some of the products. What's I don't know. What's wrong with these? Let look how little the, look how little the bottle is, Diamond. That's twelve dollars for what? All right, so let's go to how let's go to uses? products. All right, so I what is I don't know what this is. Ultra chill. <laughs> Ultra chill. What is that? Um. All right. What is I don't know what that is. Look okay. how little that bottle is. That's Confused. like two uses. All right, so what else we got here? Uh, Taraji products, bundles. What are bundles? What is this? All right, so this you get a bunch of stuff. All right, so you get all of those for $33. Mm-mm, that's not worth no $33. One, two, three. This not, they're not worth $10 a piece? No. $11 look a how, piece? Diamond, look how little the bottles are. Okay. So this is not good. All right. So you're saying this is this is not good. Let's see how much um like what's the no, I wanted to see oh, like the gosh. ounces. Okay. All right. So go to her best sellers. All right. Most love products from scalp care and deep cleansing <laughs> solutions to nourishment and protection. Find out why hair, what? Chameleons of every hair texture and type are here for TPH by Taraji. Okay, so these are our top sellers. Uh, scalp something, mint something, make it rain. All right, these prices are not bad. Diamond, they're too little. They are bad. You know why I'm saying they're bad, Diamond? Because look at the amount that I'm getting, which means I got to come back and buy some more. Or if I pick a whole bunch of these, I'm going to be broke. 12, 12. Come on. Okay, so these are Compared all. Compared to the other hair products. Okay, so so like this right here. This is edge control. So this. $8.99 I, for edge control like i don't i don't exactly know what edge control is but i'm assuming that it goes around the edge so How you don't many? use a lot right you like you use a little bit no you know you seen these bitches lay their edges down come on stop playing with me diamond you think that they everybody not a shanti <laughs> but that's what they want <laughs> <laughs> everybody's not a shanti oh, baby. all right look at this right here curls for days all right Click on that and see how much I'm getting for curls for days for fifty was that fourteen ninety nine. Fourteen ninety nine. Plus shipping. Okay. This is a ingredient description. I'm gonna try to see description. Okay, 
wash and go, this and that, ingredients. Well, I want to tell you. Um, all right, so these are some of the reviews. That so far, so reviews. good. I love it. I don't believe uh, in reviews. Okay, how about this one? This is a verified buyer, An Angela C. She's verified. 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 This is popping. Because they got their tax money. Okay. So your so your issue is the size of the bottles. Is that what you're saying? Right, because and they get free shipping over forty dollars. I think that is. Okay, I, I gotta spend over forty dollars on my little hair products. Yeah, but women spend a lot and of money I'm, on their hair. I'm, What's wrong with that? And I'm on a budget. And I'm on a budget. All right. So um, I I did not even know that she had this business, but I, I think that it's a perfect. Um, it's a perfect segue to another another point that I have, and that is us supporting each other, right? So I posted something about supporting black business, something to that effect. And surprisingly, I got some negative comments from black people. You're going to. What is this about? What is really going on? Going like to. some people like, oh, black people need to bring their price. We know like, they, they were black as well. So they're like, we need to bring our prices. Our prices are too high. And so um, I, I just don't understand. Uh, and I, I'm, I'm going to pull up the post because I think I was talking about, um, yeah, I, I got to pull up to see exactly how to, how it came up. But we will pay for designer bags that are made by Europeans. We will pay for uh, luxury cars made by Europeans. You'll complain about that price, but we own Taraji, TPH by Taraji and other sites like this and and women are saying that the prices are too high and this is in in relationship to what like are we saying that black people can't have high price stuff black people can't have luxury lifestyle or luxury items what's going on with this first of all with taraji I understand that you, you know, she has another, you know, business, but I think like when you are on a certain platform in your career, like you don't really have to make those prices that high. They can be affordable. It's not hurting her pockets. It's not. It's not. To make it affordable for some people, some people can afford Gucci bags or Parada bags. They can't afford it. They don't mind supporting, but some people can't afford those things. What about the people that can afford those things, Diamond? So it's like, yes, sometimes um, uh, some you people have can afford those things only when they get a amount of amount of money, a significant amount of money, like tag. Yeah, and it's and just like a like, like a that. Porsche or a Maybach. Everybody can't afford that, right? And if you can't afford it, guess what? This is not the car for you. But that doesn't mean you can't get around. That doesn't mean you can't catch an Uber or a Lyft or if you're in East Baltimore, a sedan, or if you over West, a hack, right? You can do any of that. This is Baltimore terms for our out-of-town folks. I'm just saying, I we, I, there are I different levels of... Right, I know, I know, but you got some people that don't, right? I do... But I sometimes when we support all black businesses or whatever, sometimes our own black people be doing us crusty. So I get it when people be like they not supporting black owned businesses because sometimes we could be not professional. And oh, and okay. I understand that. But other business can be very unprofessional as well. As yes. well. Yeah. As well, you know, I complain on anybody. I don't care if you're black, white, Asian. I, I'm going to complain. I'm going to complain, and I'm not going to. I'm going to let you know that I'm not going to support you. Right, and and, and, and that's my thing. And we and, heavily and, support Asian businesses. Very but, but, heavily. But, but let's not act like Asian uh, uh, customer service is through the roof. Let's not even act like Asian oh, customer I, service is at a baseline. Trash. It is trash. 
but never once do do I hear uh, 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 black people on social media talking about I'm not going to the Asian spot because the service is bad, right? I do all the time, and I don't. No, you 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 hear people saying that they're not going to Asian spot. Nope, oh. I don't. All right, yeah, okay, no, I got you. I but it's just and, and that's and that's another reason why I went natural because I got tired of giving uh Asians my money and they don't appreciate it and they don't support the black community back. They they don't donate to our community, they don't do nothing but build in our community and takes our community's money. All right. And I lost a lot of Asian. I had a couple of Asian friends. I don't give a fuck. It's the truth. They done unfollowed me on Facebook or whatever. I don't give a fuck. It's the truth. It's the truth. If it wasn't, then you wouldn't unfollow me. I didn't say anything wrong. I just said the truth. They don't give back to our community, but they come into our community and take. Right. It is what it is. Right, and and they specifically target our community and open their business up in our community. We and don't spend the bag. But but this is the thing: they don't have the pressure of having good service, quote unquote. Right? They're very rude. They're not personable. On a whole, you know, you may have pockets here and there where you know, but generally speaking, they're rude. And they're rude. They don't even look at you. They just take your car. Right. 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 Hurry up and buy. Hurry, Hurry up and buy, buy is, is, is one of them things that, you know, you just historically uh, people have just heard in the Asian, you know, in, in Asian. Right. Life, and, that's, and that's like when they had Asian lives matter and stuff like that. I never reposted with me, Diamond. You'll never see me repost Haitian lives matter, Nigerian lives matter. Asian lives matter because I feel like as black community we always quick to support these other people but don't none of them give a fuck about us or support us they don't but we're always trying to help other people and then we don't even try to help each other as a race so you know what I'm saying but nah Mm-mm. yeah so it, it, it is it, it is frustrating um so you remember okay so I, here's here's what i posted i um i posted this okay so this is my instagram um at the diamond k show and uh this is the post right here so uh i posted this and you know it's, it's a picture of richard Pryor, and it says you will buy gucci louis and versace but won't support black businesses because their prices are too, too high. high. Right? And so I said, make it make sense, support Black business. Okay. And so um, there were a lot of people that had interesting things to say. And I want to pull up some of the comments. Okay. Um, all right. So first, I mean, the, fir- the first comment, the person says, True statement, but some black businesses need to improve their customer service. service. Okay, now um, customer service is not a a race thing. Like customer service is a across the board thing. But he's you know specifically highlights some black businesses, like some white businesses don't the customer service at Walmart ain't. I great. guess. I guess. Um, Diamond, I guess what they're saying is, okay, so with Asian people going to the Asian market, they give them, you know, I guess they, they're they more culturally aware of each other. Like, you don't hear other Asian people complaining about other Asian businesses, I guess. And because they try to stay, stay within their culture or whatever. So it's like... I have supported black businesses and some black businesses are awesome and amazing, but some people, they just run a short and they feel that well, they can do so. If, if they need to, but if they need to improve, if they, if they need to improve, right. They a, a black business. Do. Now, if a black business needs to improve, so you talk about the Asian business, you say that the Asian community doesn't slam each other on social media, which which I, I don't see it. 
You know, but, I, I mean, so, but I don't follow a lot of Asian people. So, I mean, it's not like I'm on Asian Twitter. I don't know if they made slam, but they probably don't. Right. Don't. But but that doesn't mean that they don't have a bad experience. That just means that they keep their thing inside. They may pull pull up the person and, and, and speak with them directly or or whatever. We have to have a better way to communicate within community that's not blatantly blasting somebody else. We the only people that do that to each we, other. And we are and we're always on defense mode. That's true. Now you got you got you got a point there. Um, and I don't know if it's because of our culture or whatever, but we always are in defensive mode. So a couple people say, uh, Derek says, sad but true. Uh, Mr. T. Mason gave those eyes, I guess, is just kind of like looking and somebody else said, right. Okay. Now this person right here, Ooh. this was the one, this was the one right here that, um, that really had me wanting to talk about this. And so uh, she says that I'm not buying any of that. And as far as black businesses, mm, in most cases, yes, prices are ridiculous. Customer service is terrible. Communication sucks. And overall, I feel like black businesses really do try to get over and on their own people. These are my personal experiences with black owned. I spent my money with establishments that cater to professionalism and customer service. I call BS. Okay. I call BS. Now, um, the fact that, and she's a black woman and, and the fact that she's so critical of her own people's businesses is so maddening. She doesn't go into no white establishment with that kind of energy and they, they, you know, what I mean, it's just she, she just straight negative. That is, that is the hate. That is the hate that hate makes. That's self hate, right? That's self hate. And I just, she's so brainwashed. But there are a lot of folks that that are like that. She's talking about spending her money with establishments that cater to professionalism. This, that fucking post wasn't even professional. You talk about professionalism. She ain't professional, but whatever. You know, whatever. And um, what what are your thoughts on on on, on that? <laughs> yeah, because I, I that, that oh, she just burns me up. That just burns me up. Is she even a real profile? This yeah. Is a page. I yes yes yes. You know I think I, I think I know her. I think I know her. Let me let me let's go to her page. Let me see. Oh, yes, I do know her. Yes, I do know her. She damn sure ain't professional. Yes, I do know her. I do know her. Yeah, she 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 out of control. Um, yeah, so some people say it's stupid. But listen, I'm just because she has an opinion that's different than mine, I'm not I, I'm not saying it because she, if you got opinion, you can't, can she can't generalize all black. Right, right, right. She was, she went one one two minute, right. And that's she it, she, I'm done. I, I'm, I'm done. She, she does, <laughs> she finished. She does, she finished. Like, yeah. Yeah. She might have had one or two. And 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 Diamond, that's and and then, you know, now that I'm sitting here thinking, maybe that's why our black businesses do have higher prices because they don't have the support. So they have to double up. You understand what I'm saying? Because no, I just it I, that's that's one that's one thing, but I don't I don't even think that that's it. I think that um, what it really is is that people don't understand. So you run businesses, I've run businesses, and we understand uh, markup. We understand, you know, so you're getting your merchandise from somewhere, and, and maybe where you're getting it from, um, you could get it cheaper somewhere else. Maybe you're not buying enough bulk. Maybe you had to get it too quickly and, and the cheaper price takes longer to come, whatever, whatever it is, right? That could be something. Now you do have instances where people try to mark things up too much, right? And when you compare a price with say a Walmart who doesn't do a high markup because their game is volume, they're selling a whole lot. So they're not putting a whole lot of you know overhead price on the item because they're selling a whole lot. 
a smaller establishment is trying to make a larger profit, so they may put more on it. So you have you have that going on. And, and some right. of the business, that will make a price higher, right? But that's not a reason to just straight say, I'm not supporting black businesses. Like you could say, you can go into black business, and I ain't saying you got to buy everything in the damn store, or I ain't saying you got to buy, you know, nothing. I'm just saying, for whatever you're trying to buy, give somebody a shot. Like you can choose, you choose where you spend your money at, right? right. And you know, I, I just, I just think that this mindset has got to shift because it just, it has to shift. Otherwise, we're just going to be forever the consumers. People are going to be forever posting up in our market or in, in our area, opening up their stuff, and we're just going to be buying from them, and we're never going to have any large amount of black businesses you just want to have people here people there and a whole bunch of consumers we just buy other people's stuff whether it's mexican spanish uh uh white asian uh of indian descent everybody else we buy everybody else stuff everybody else prices can be sky high everybody else can put but but you oh how dare you you know have uh you know, your stuff be high. We talked, and that post was about Gucci, Louis Vuitton, and Versace. You don't get higher price than that. Like, that's the most high price stuff. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. Okay. Maybe I'm crazy. Uh, but as you can see, this um, has me on fire for real. So we were talking, <laughs> we were talking earlier. Uh, his or her show, Dobby K. Sweet Tea. Moving, so you 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 have moved recently, and so what has what was your experience moving 2022 post pandemic? Did it go smooth and nice? It was horrible. I went from first of all, let's just say we went to go buy a house, mm -hmm. got the loan or whatever couldn't find a goddamn house to buy because of post well the pandemic mm. right now the housing market is ridiculous so it's a good time for you to sell your house but it's mm. a horrible time to buy a house so either we didn't see a house that we wanted or like and say oh i can see myself living here for such and such years for that price or the houses that we wanted, they would go off the market like that. By the time we told our realtor, like, yeah, put it in for this house, she'd be like, it's gone. Or people will st it's starting to overbid other people because they want to buy the house, they need to move, so they're overbidding, You're, they're going to overbid you. And it's like, once you get a loan for a certain amount, that's all the money you're working with, buddy. So, like, mm -hmm. you up shit's creek. Mm -hmm. So I already told the leasing people that, you know, I've been there for one on three years that I wasn't renewing my lease. So we had this much time to get out of the situation to move. So we like, all right, we will wait to buy a house. No problem. We'll go rent something. So we're like, let's go rent a house. Diamond. Renting the house was so horrible <laughs> because it's like they wanted more than the fucking loan mortgage people. Like, I'm renting your house. You putting me through more than me getting a loan to buy a house. And I'm just renting a house. Uh, it, it was horrible. It was horrible. And they were like, oh, we want you to have a credit score of 800. Like, I would be buying a house, sir, if it wasn't for what's going on right now. But somebody with that credit score, they're not going to rent a house from you. Let's be real and let's be honest. So we're like, all right, let's go get an apartment. That was even worse. Like, to get an apartment now in 2022 is a lot different than 2019. Like, I went through, like, four different issues with different apartment complexes to get approved for a goddamn apartment. And I'm just like, I got approved for a house loan. Why can't you get approved for an apartment? Like, <laughs> are you serious right now? They was, they was like, 
It was horrible. We had to stay in a hotel because we had all these applications put in at one time. Now you got to put down an administration fee, an application fee. Back in the day when two people were married, they paid one application fee. Now they want you to pay separately. So you got to kick out like, Diamond, like $400. Wow. Just to do the process of the paperwork for you to get an apartment. And I'm paying you an administration fee that is non-refundable. You don't get your money back. It's non-refundable for you to do the paperwork for me to get an apartment for your company, for you to do work. I got to pay you to run my <laughs> application. So then I'm reading down the thing like if you can't get approved for an apartment and you need somebody to call back in the day, people could co-sign for you. No problem. Now they want them to make at least six times the fucking rent. Who makes six <laughs> times the rent? That's crazy. The that's average crazy. person, six times the rent, four no. times the rent. That's impossible. That's impossible. And they blame it all on the pandemic. People wasn't paying their rent. A lot of companies went into bankruptcy and stuff like that and loan forgiveness. And it like basically fucked everybody else over that's really out here trying to live. And trying to live the right way. These people ain't paying these people their rent. They not taking any more chances at yeah. all. Yeah, and that and that's crazy. And that and that's crazy. Um they uh, running your 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 criminal record from 1964. Like one apartment plan has told me that you can't have no criminal history. Ma'am, really? No criminal history, nothing on your record, a clean record for grown people. Come on. That's kind of hard. Like who you like it, it it was hard. They the one lady told me, "Oh, we don't do credit score. We do high risk score check." I said, "What is that? Are you a, I'm just like, oh, I'm so over it." But we finally found the place or whatever, and I was I, it kind of humbled me a little bit, Diamond. I'm not even going to lie. Like, I felt like... I felt like I was homeless. Yeah. I felt like I was homeless because I had to wait. <clears throat> we had to be out of our apartment on the 1st of February. I didn't leave out of there to the 5th. And my people, the, my apartment complex, I was really cool with them because I ain't never paid my rent on, on late or anything. And they knew I was good people. So he was like, I'll let you stay for an extra five days. But then you have to go. So he let me stay all the way up to the fifth. Is that how you talk? Yes, he did. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. So he let me stay. Thank you so much. He let me stay for an extra five days. Mm -hmm. and then, oh my God, Diamond. So once I thought I got approved for this one place, so I called the movers and everything, right? And then when I found out that I wasn't approved, I called the movers and let them know that I won't be moving here, but I need you to move me here. They stood me up. They thought I was lying. They didn't even show up. They was like, mm -mm, we're not messing with you. You you two are all over the place. First, you wanted to move from this address to this address. Now you want to move this to this. And he was like, mm -mm, I'm not. So it was just a mess. So we had to stay in a hotel or whatever and wait till we were approved. But once I booked the hotel, cut all my cable off. Uh, electric and all that shit off that people call me uh, I cut everything off by 6 they called me at 7 was like oh you're approved for your apartment and I was like I just paid for a hotel and I just cut all my utilities off so we had to reopen all these accounts back up that's crazy they put us in another hole because now you have to start over with Comcast. You got to start over with the electric company. You had to start a whole new account. Instead of just transferring everything, 
So it was, you got to pay this bill and then pay this. It was just a mess. And I was glad when February was over. But I I felt homeless or whatever for that couple of hours. And I was like, A couple of hours, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It hit home. Like those, like, those couple of days that I was staying in my apartment and we didn't know where we had all these applications all over the place and waiting to get approved. I was like, oh, my God, I'm going to be homeless. But those couple of hours was humbling to me. I don't never want to feel like that. And I was like, man, people, some people really got to be living in hotels or living in their car and stuff like that. And I was like, this day or whatever made me feel like I don't ever want that feeling. Like, I just felt dirty. I ain't take no shower. But it was just a humbling experience for me just those couple of hours i couldn't imagine living like that yeah not yeah knowing, not knowing where you want to be at and you got a child and all this other stuff that shit was crazy man it was crazy yeah yeah i, I can imagine uh well uh you know the the pandemic changed a lot of things and and, and restructured some things i'm glad that that you know y'all are you know set up now and and, and got your your place and um you know ready to oh my move, god so start that next chapter yes but look here so you know i have my dad lives here my my brother all my father's children live in texas or he has all his kids in the same state with him but we are distant so me and my sister, we're building, we're trying to build our relationship. This is the middle girl. So you know me and Dami, Dami remember me and her got into it on social yes. media a couple of years ago about yes. the colorism. So She's we a pretty were, girl. Yeah, yeah. So we were building our sisterhood thing and, you know, her birthday had came up, but during my transition of my husband coming back to Texas, trying to get him a job, me, us trying to get a house, then the whole situation with us moving or whatever. Her birthday came and I let her know that, you know, I'm not going to be able to make it to your birthday dinner. This, this is what is happening. And I'm the type of person, like, if I, if I care about you, I'm going to let you know what's going on if i don't really fuck with you like that i'm gonna just tell you i'm not coming point blank so you, gave, so you gave her explanation i gave her explanation and it was totally unaccepted and it was like very like well you knew this and you knew this and this and this and i'm just like i've come a long way because i would have just cussed her the fuck out me being very disrespectful and just cussed her out. But I didn't because I promised myself in 2022 that I was going to be a big sister and be more approachable, be more, play a big sister role. Stop cussing my siblings out. You know what I'm saying? And try to be more understanding. So I just was like, you know, I love you. We can celebrate your birthday later when I get at a, in a better space or whatever. She left me on so, red. She left me on red. So, <clears throat> I, you know, I've been off of social media, so I just came yeah. back on. Of course, she uh, unfriended me. Did she? Whatever. Yeah. Okay, so, so tell me this. When... How long before the party did you let her know this? Like, uh, like three days. Yeah. Um. It was yeah. like yeah. my thing is, Diamond. Like, but this will pass. She'll get. She'll get over this. She'll get over cool, this. Or it's cool, or whatever. Like, but what I month was her birthday in? January. Yeah, she'll get over it. Yeah. No, we she'll get over it, but you know, we'll with my siblings, and it's so sad is that we're okay with not communicating with each other. 
Yeah, and and, and I don't like that because, you know, I've lost a sibling. And so, you know, it is really, you know, I I mean, we didn't have any any fallouts or anything. And, um, you know, uh, I don't have any bad thoughts or memories, uh, you know, thankfully. But that doesn't mean that I don't I would want more time. You know what I mean? Of course. Yeah. 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 And and it's so sad because me and my siblings, we just sit here and waste time apart. It, it, yes, that 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 is is something that you know um I don't have any regrets. It j- it just so happened that our family is, I mean, you know how our family yes. is close and yeah, you know, and all of that. And so um, but I just this time that y'all are that y'all have y'all really need to utilize it because you don't you know you don't know if i if i had known that we were only going to have you know 42 years with her i would have spent even more time with her you know what i mean uh and so you have this time i i I just think that uh you should you know try to try to catch it up and it's so sad because we spend so much energy being distanced from each other. And I, I sort of play my father because he's supposed to be the head. And yeah. it's like he allows the fuckery to go on. But y'all are y'all are very strong personalities and very strong. He is not oh, like he can make y'all do anything. I he I he 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 really can though, Diamond. You he think really so? Can. He don't yeah, know that. Dad, my, yes, he just don't care. <laughs> he, he just don't care to get into the weeds with y'all, maybe, but he cares. No, he he cares enough to he for the drama, yeah. But for him to get us all together and stuff like that, he doesn't care because my dad is pretty much a beneficiary person. He just benefits on what he can benefit from, so he really doesn't care. Like this is been going. I'm like I'm 42 years old, like. He just lets the fuckery. He likes the fuckery. He likes the fuckery. So, you know. But yeah, she blocked me. Oh, she unfriended you and blocked you. I guess she unfriended me or whatever. But yeah. And I just was like, I told my husband. He was just like, that's fucked up. And I'm like, yeah, because usually it's because I cuss them out or whatever and I'll be like I don't give a fuck <laughs> fuck you fuck your father fuck every but now I'm trying to be so peaceful or whatever and it was like yo she blocked me and I was like you know sometimes people are so about me 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 you blocked me because I didn't come to your birthday dinner but I had this situation going on or whatever. Right, but right. instead of you being like, sis, like, I don't know. Like, you know, I have a brother from my mom and we like this. So, like, if I had told my brother this, he'd be like, all right, sis, I'll catch up with you. Call right. me. You good? Like, it wouldn't be like, well, it's my like. But, you know, it is. So have you, call, have you called her? I'm not. Okay. You left me on red. Now. And she probably blocked my phone number. I, I think doubt I blocked. It. I doubt. I it. think I'm blocked. I doubt it. You want me to call her? No. Okay. What you gonna be like? Why you block your sister, Fifi? No, no. I ain't gonna go in that. I ain't gonna go that way. No, you don't need to call her at all. You should, guys. I will call her if you want me to. I know you would. That little chocolate drop. I know you would. Yeah, because I can, you know, patch it up. And, I um, know. She be all right. Okay. Be all... So, Diamond, I got five more classes left. Five more classes left, and I now, have my bachelor's. Oh, that is good. Congratulations. In what? Criminal Justice Administration. Okay. I don't know where you're going with this, but it sounds nice. You're so crazy. <laughs> so I could be, I'm going to be working in parole and probation eventually. Oh my goodness. Are you serious? You're going to be like, I'm going to violate. He violated. Like, you're going to be oh doing that. Oh my God. My inmates at my job, like, they was like, 
Wait, where are you gonna be working? Cause I don't wanna be. I don't want you to be. <laughs> they don't want you to be there. They're probation off. No. <laughs> gonna be wrote uh in the prison yeah. I have I have moved up to Mama Ellis like back in the day when I was first started I was just Ellis now I'm Mama Ellis but they was like she gonna be peeping through our doors be like I'm a violate you you need to come take this pistol <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's uh wow okay <sighs> all right well that's that's good that's good uh, congratulations on that. So when when is this? You gonna complete this? What this year? Yeah, I'll be done year? in September. In September, I'll be done. Okay. All right. Well, that's good. That's 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 good. Are you gonna have a graduation dinner? <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, I'm at a point in my life. Are you gonna have a graduation dinner no, and invite your sister? Old. I'm too fucking old. Like some things, you just too fucking old to be doing. Well, I think that her birthday dinner was probably nice. Um, and I've seen it on online. She might be going through something too, because we're crazy anyway. You know, she done deleted all her pictures on her. Page well, she anyway. didn't block me. She didn't block me. But she got like five. She took her pictures down. Okay, well, maybe. They, yeah. All right. But so, did you think that she could be going through something? Did that cross your mind? Like you just said, she's going through something right now. She wasn't going through nothing around that time. Yeah, well, it's going it's going to all work out, It'll and be fine. Uh, it's going to all work out. So, are you going to invite her to the graduation dinner? Damn it, I'm not having a graduation dinner. I'm fucking forty two. Like something... you don't eat, you don't eat. I understand that, but some things you just. Oh, too grown for. I I ain't saying you gotta go to Sizzlers. You can go somewhere else. You you ain't gotta go like you went at the elementary school or middle school. I hate everything that you're talking about <laughs> right now. Graduation dinner at fucking forty three years old. Like stop. Well, I mean, it's a it's stop. a milestone. It is. But it's a milestone I ain't that you I got... should have took for fucking years ago. Like me and my mm-hmm. girlfriends already. It don't matter when you do it. No, it don't, it don't matter, matter when you do it. Like it don't matter when you do it. But some people be acting like. And you should. You supposed to celebrate. Listen, you gotta celebrate those milestones. You worked time. hard to do that. You worked hard. Yeah. Like, it wasn't easy. It wasn't I, easy. Donna, you gotta I stop and smell it. your flowers. Like you on to the next. You you on to the next adventure before you fully close out this one. Back. <laughs> and pay these goddamn loans back. Right, but you gotta stop and 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 take a moment to celebrate, I and then go it. on to the next thing. Diamond, I get it, but some people just take the shit too far, man. And it's only because of social media. Back in the day, you graduated. You did things, and it was a. Uh, and you gotta keep on. I don't need to see all your grades since you fucking started college. Okay, that that's a that's a bit much, right? But then at the same time, some people may want you to see how they progressed, or I I, I was doing bad and I pulled them up, or I've been doing good all along, or so I was I doing bad and got every it. Every fucking class you take every semester, like I'm going to fucking school with you for the last fucking four years, like they God, show us damn. everything else. I you don't complain when the strippers show us in the dressing room, like why we need to see it. Like you you oh you see God, the things God, you want to see. Sometimes oh they show us. Guys, but sometimes I just be like, y'all just put too much of the shit on social media. Like, I don't want to see, I don't want to go to school with you. I do. I don't want to go to school with you. I do. And and for every person that don't want to see it, somebody do want to see it. I want people to celebrate. Oh, celebrate those oh, milestones. I understand you celebrate your milestones, but I don't yes. have to celebrate every fucking semester with you and what your fucking <laughs> professor told you. I don't want to do it. So I mean, this is some people that was in your class. This is some people that was in your class that did this. Class, like 15 times already. 15 oh, times I graduated. Because I mean, I gotta watch you post. I got an A today. I got a B. Like, okay. All no. right. So, you Shit. want me to plan the graduation dinner? Is that what you said? No, I don't want you to plan no graduation dinner for me at all. all. Right. But you brought up strippers, and you know I love the strippers. 
I had to admit that I'm addicted to stripper vlogs on YouTube. They don't post too much? For some reason, I like <laughs> watching... You like watching what? Stripper vlogs. I like watching them do their money count. I like watching what they do all day and that's fucking nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's how... That, I think it was Chris Rock that said that uh, people people get more respect coming home from jail than they do graduating from college. And you more excited to hear about the day in the life of a stripper than the day in the life of a student. Mm -hmm. I be on YouTube. I be watching them like when they get ready. You know they wake up, they sleep all day. So they wake up, they go to the bank. I just watch them wake up, go to the bank. They count their money, go to the bank. Get their nails done. Get their eyelashes done. Go get something to eat from McDonald's and then go to work. I don't know. I'm addicted to stripper vlogs. I don't know why. Something's wrong with me. I like watching what they do. The week, the, the whole week. I don't know. I guess it's watch them make so much fucking money by <laughs> being a con artist lady talking these niggas out they cash. It's just amazing to me. It's <laughs> truly amazing how these women go to work and make all this money just by dancing and spitting game. Yeah, and, and they definitely spitting a whole lot of game. They 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 spitting a whole lot of game. They, they are. Well, all right. All right. Well, this has been fun. I'm glad we are back. Um and so, uh, uh, strip, is, is, is there is there one that you recommend? Yeah, Diamond Ice. Diamond Ice? Okay. Yeah. Okay, all right, check her out. Where is she from? She from Chicago. She okay. a young girl. Okay. All right, well, yeah. let's have a check out. Diamond she's Ice. Small, yeah, she's smaller. And I was like, damn, she making all this money and she bony. I was like, I would have made a killing back in the day. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, I like her. All right. Well, uh, we got to check her out. Diamond Ice. Um, Make sure you nice... watch Euphoria on you uh, on um, HBO Diamond. I told you to watch that. Okay. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Gotta watch that. Gotta watch that. Gotta watch that. We'll watch that. Gotta watch that. We'll watch that. Um. Who is all right. Going? So who is we uh, gonna watch it? Huh. I said, gotta that? watch that. We'll watch that. Uh huh. Will, will. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. Okay. So we will we be back next week? Are we? Are we back next week? Well, uh, we can be back next week. Are you gonna be on time? Cause the yes. people that supports me is they said they sleep. Okay. But it's like they can watch. They can watch this on demand. You know what I mean? And so he was late. Do uh, we got anything on TikTok? Do you post on TikTok? Yes, I do. Uh, you post and... our shows on TikTok. I can't hear you, Diamond. I do, and um, you post our all... shows on TikTok. I post clips. Yes. So somebody at my job came up to me and was like. I seen you on TikTok, your show. And I'm like, I'm not on TikTok. Oh, yeah, they yeah, yeah. Like, no, I seen you on TikTok. And they like, why you work at the prison? Like, why are you not famous somewhere doing this and getting paid for it? He, they was like, you do a good job. And I'm like, they, and then I was thinking to myself, I'm like, he must got me mistaken for somebody else because I don't have TikTok. And Diamond A never mentioned that. He had a TikTok. Yeah, so everything that everything that I post on Instagram, I also post on TikTok. Yeah, so all he was of like, our... you on TikTok. You have a show <laughs> on TikTok. You from Baltimore. You from Baltimore, and I was like, yeah. <laughs> Why are you so surprised? Why? <laughs> because you know, like. You know, remember when uh, Facebook, when they was like, uh, 
you know how we had to keep we got to keep our radio names remember when they was trying yeah. to put our government oh, right, names right. Yeah. on there and we had to send the id and say why we had to use our radio names for our whatever so mm. no one can really find me on social media unless i give you the information to find me i'm not you can't find me by my government name so like when mm. people say stuff to me i'll be like and I'm like, you don't even follow me. And I, I, so that's why I was surprised when he was like, I see you on TikTok. And I'm like, what? I'm like, that wasn't me. I was about to say, he's like, you're from Baltimore. <laughs> you're on a show. You got a show. I seen it on TikTok. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. So uh, my TikTok, of course, is at the Diamond K show. And so, yes, that. That is you there. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, so I do post us. Um, I, I actually post a lot. Yeah, Hollywood. Yeah, he said, I, why are you working here? Why are y'all not <laughs> in Hollywood somewhere getting paid? I was like. Yeah, well, we working on that. We working, we working on that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I, 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 definitely, I definitely post us. Um, I was like, is he stalking me or something? Like, how is he fine? I was the first. I thought he was lying. I'm like, I ain't got no fuck. How do you see me on no fucking TikTok? <laughs> lying ass. <laughs> and oh, every yeah. time he see me, every time he see me, he say the same thing. And he was like, Baltimore, you got the show. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. So we are on TikTok. I'm on TikTok at the Diamond K Show. Uh, yes. Yeah, so all of our um. All of our clips, like I said, everything that I post on um, on Instagram, I, I also post on um, on TikTok as well. So, so we'll be back, y'all, on Tuesday around yep. eight thirty, eight fifteen, eight o'clock on Diamond. Be on time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, all right. So uh, at the Diamond K Show. Uh, on fire television.com. What's your, what's your social media? Do you, do you know it still? Instagram is Jamaican shortcakes. Facebook is, um, what am I on Facebook? Diamond. Oh, uh, T, 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 American. T American on yeah. Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. it. I only use Facebook and Instagram. I hardly on either one of them. Unless it's show related. Okay, well there it is. All right, so we'll be back next week. Uh, have a good one. All right, see you. Rest easy. Rest easy. <laughs>